I've been working on that body of work for a year and a half, and the last three months, December, January, February, I actually took off work to concentrate um, on doing the show. As I, I guess I was saying earlier on, I, I would like to have been looser, and I would like various other things to have happened, but that's not really, um, maybe not necessarily what I'm capable of, but it's not what comes out of me naturally. And obviously, it's, it's like a, it's a wonderful indulgence to do a huge body of painting work. So you want to enjoy it as much as you can. So you kind of just sit down and do what comes naturally to you. And I was a little bit surprised, I guess, at what came naturally to me. But that's what it is, and I'll, I'll work on it. And um, ultimately, I, I do like it. I mean, I have to. It's mine. Nice. Amanda and I worked together. Um, I kind of showed her some of the early works and told her that I was interested in in um, creating some actual dresses with the pouches, pockets on them, and we collaborated um, as to what animals would go in and how best to represent it. And eventually she made these five dresses, which I then photographed with models and based the last five paintings on. The presence of the animal and the pouch kind of creates some kind of tension. I'd always liked the idea of the companionship and kind of being glued to each other, of, of two beings kind of being one being. I, I think there was, there was meant to be this bond between the girl and her animal and an exclusion of the world from them. They kind of seem very content in their own the little universe, being a teenager and, and not really being part of the world. About the sculptures, I drew it quite in quite detail before it was made, and then I worked together with a with a sculptor to actually make it because I'm not a sculptor myself. Um, but we kind of worked very closely together and got it to where I wanted it to be. And then it was cast in an edition of 20. And then it had always been my intention for them to be actually to be ceramic, but the casting of ceramic in Durban proved to be pretty much impossible. So we wound up doing these, these resin casts. In almost all the paintings, there are sort of props and elements and things going on that are somewhat surreal or out of the ordinary. I think there's a lot of personal input, things that have been influential to me artistically and culturally, little elements of influences, and particularly in some of the names of the paintings. I think it is quite a personal so I would just like people to, to have an emotional response to, to the work.